Hello friends, it's Phil and today I'm going to be cutting or double cutting this um, 120 square metre lawn. Now, I it's a bit of an experiment this video so bear with me, right? Uh, the idea is, I think it's quite interesting watching, let's say, a pro cut lawns because of the direction and the movement around the lawn to do it as efficiently as possible. Yes, that's the reason why I cut the lawn the way I do. Uh, and this lawn, for reference, I've probably cut about 50 times now. Now, before I go on, can you also do me a favour? My channel is tiny weedy, and every one of these videos is a little experiment into the future. So if you find some of this useful, or you think in anticipation that I might be quite a useful kind of lawn coach, lawn expert, lawn magician <clears throat> i don't know can you hit subscribe and even hit like and even give a comment because having studied youtube there's no one way when you're a tiny tuber like me tiny tuber actually that segues into plants doesn't it quite nicely do you know what tuber is uh crocosmia mombricia is a classic lucifer is one of my favorite is a classic uh tuber <laughs> it's say anyway look Bear with me, it's going to be a double cut, so it's probably going to be about 10 minutes long. Uh, I'm going to whiz around the lawn, probably going to pick up this camera at some point and introduce you to slightly different camera angles so you can get an idea of the finish. Um, for reference, at this particular point, the cut length on the lawn is going to be a SETI 2 on a heater, which is 14, 21 mil approximately, depending on how worn out your hater is of which mine i think is about three or four mil worn out on the wear and tear and also on the wheels on the front so let's say we're cutting this about 17 18 mil now keep in mind the other thing i'm going to share just here before i get onto it is if you cut your lawn regularly and get it to the perfect cut height for the grass type that you have let's say and you get the grass into really good condition Cutting the grass is really, really, really simple and easy. It's just a quick walk because you're clipping it a few mil as opposed to scything it 50 mil. Really simple, but the more you cut your grass, the easier it gets to cut it. And in effect, <clears throat> if you're cutting a lawn with a small mower, like this 130, 140 square meter lawn, and you cut it once every two weeks, it's gonna be a horrible job. Cut it every three or four days, it's a piece of cake, absolute piece of cake. Anyway, look, the camera might wobble a little bit. Hopefully the stabilizing system inside of YouTube will sort that out uh, because it's on a big, long uh, selfie stick. Uh, and it's gonna wobble a bit in the wind. Anyway, my rambling over is about time that I got on with it. Uh, join me while I go for a whiz round this lawn twice, double cutting on setting two on the hater. Come, come my friends, come closer, let's go.
Right, so that took uh, about five minutes. Um, <clears throat> if you're wondering actually about the condition of this lawn, um, up until a week ago, half of it was in 25, 30 mil of water. If where you see the patio, the patio backed onto the, the, the overflow from the patio backed onto the lawn and covered most of it um, <clears throat> with water which has led to two little problems. The first being the poa, the meadow grass that's come in from the neighborhood, grows really well in damp conditions. That's the first problem to deal with. And secondly, the feed that was put down two weeks ago, actually not when it was flooded, but about two weeks ago on a dry day, is very inconsistent. The ground temperatures are still pretty low. The growth is pretty, pretty low. This was cut two days ago and it's probably grown about five mil, but five mil, dear friends, five mil has to come off to keep this lawn progressing into the condition it will be in about six weeks time, which is super perfect, absolutely guaranteed. Um, even with the little infestation of poa that we will deal with. Um, so look, that's the first cut. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take you for a little walk with me. Um, shall I show you what's in the grass bag? Oh man, my be come and have a look there we go can you see in there that's um that's from basically that's from two days growth on this lawn and if you look can you see the patches of poa in it can you see that the it's definitely there it's definitely there and it needs to be dealt with but i'm going to do a second cut now where i'm going to cut it in a different direction yes i'm going to be cutting it in, uh, you see the direction there, it looks like it's already striped up in. That was from probably two weeks ago. So I'm gonna cut it in that direction. Now, for those that haven't done a double cut before and you're curious how to get the double cut kind of hex effect, um, you cut the first direction at one height and then you keep that same height and you cut it in a different direction. It's as simple as that. So I'm gonna do the second cut. Now, the other, th the other advantage on doing a double cut on a standard residential lawn using a rotary mower is that rotary mowers don't cut flat. They don't cut entirely flat and the lawn's not flat. So if you cut a lawn in two directions, your chances are that you're gonna get a really flat cut and it makes a whole lot of difference. A flat cut as opposed to a one directional cut makes a massive difference. It makes a massive difference makes a massive difference that's all i can say so look i'm going to put you down here you can have a new view how about that is that a good good view all right all right so um yeah once again i'm a small channel tuber <laughs> not so garden tuber a youtuber uh or actually i'm a lawn specialist operating in northwest london um but look um what i was going to say if you do if you found any of this use, this video useful up to this moment now, thank you, thank you, thank you. Drop a comment in, say hi, subscribe, that's useful, and hit like. All of that helps to kind of motivate me to um, keep going. Because when you're a small tuber, you're pretty invisible to the whole world, literally. If anyone's there, hello. Anyway, um, I'm going to cut in another direction now and you'll see uh, you'll see that another five minutes so hang around
And there we go. Lawn double cut at uh, probably about 18 mil. And for those of you who are eager lawn eyed specialist dudes uh, and watched the previous video about me cutting grass, you will notice as <laughs> you'll know, you will notice several things. One is I put a new hole in my belt because my trousers are falling down because I've lost so much weight over winter because of renovations that I've been doing. Uh, and the other thing is I cut this lawn using two hands rather than one, which obviously makes the job slightly more pleasant. But, um, and oh, actually the third thing for those eagle eyes of you is I haven't strimmed up the edges here or trimmed up the edges. Um, I'm going to do that tomorrow because I'm back here tomorrow to cut it again and I'll have my strimmer with me. So um, it's not bad, is it? It's not bad considering it was underwater for nearly three months. Um, it's just coming through. It's just coming through. It's going to come good. That's all I can say. But look, anyway, we've got to the end of the video. And um, if, you, <laughs> if, you, if you found any of this video useful, if anyone's actually watching, can you hit subscribe, hit like, uh, and oh, by the way, if you know anyone in Northwest London that would like a really nice lawn, um, send them to my website. You can find all the information about me and all gardening uh, in the description. So I think that's it. Now, the next challenge I have is uploading this from my phone. Typically, if I do this video, this seven, sort of 20 minute video through my desktop, it takes an hour, but I think I've found a hack. If I upload through my phone, it's done faster. But we're going to find out in a minute because if it doesn't load through my phone in the next hour, my phone runs out of power. Um, so, <laughs> with all of the optimism in the world, there we go. I'll be back again cutting more lawns. Come join me. Cut. Anyway, thanks always. Take care. Ciao. Bye. See ya. See ya.